April. Considering filing for divorce. Well, that could be a lot more challenging if a new bill passes. Channel 8's Maureen Wurst is live tonight at the courthouse with more on what the bill means for couples. Maureen. Mark, so you and your sweetie, you say I do, a couple years go by and then now it's I don't. So you're heading to the county courthouse to file for divorce because you're just not compatible anymore. Well, if House Bill 1277 passes, these three little lines could cause a big headache if you want that divorce. Beginnings and endings happen on the second floor of the Tulsa County Courthouse. That's my mom right there. For Brian Hill, his new married life was ready to start. You become famous, locally famous. He did his Facebook Live. Watch News Channel 8 at 6. Best news people ever. You see him? Yeah. And my buddies. Signed his papers. Me and the cameraman, we vibing right now, you know. He pretty cool. It took 12 years for him to get to this point. My whole thing, this is why it took so long for us to get married. If I get married, then there is no divorce. We're just going to have to stay together. But if you're one of the couples in Oklahoma who's on the other side of the room, it could be harder to get a divorce thanks to House Bill 1277. The bill would make using the incompatibility option for divorce difficult if you've been married for 10 years, have kids under 18, or if one of the spouses objects. Representative Travis Dunlap introduced the bill. Do we really want to allow this as a state, or do we want to continue ensuring that um, children have the best possible means to flourish? And like the objections that Matt Ingham files in divorce court, he has some to this bill. But House Bill 1277 is a horrible idea, absolutely a horrible idea. Now, Why? You don't want a, a man and a woman having to live together under the same roof in, in a situation where they have personality conflicts. Got her name, my name, our anniversary date, all that on there. For Hill and his new bride, today is about making memories. But 30 years ago, when we got married, the news channel 8 was there, and they got us on camera. Look, I got it on video right here. He says this day is one to remember, and not just because he got married. I'll never forget this day ever in my life. Some of the main objections to this bill are that it could bog down the court system here at the Tulsa County Courthouse. Now, Dunlap did tell me that he is open to suggestions and will take any sort of feedback. Live at the Tulsa County Courthouse, Maureen Wartz, Tulsa's Channel 8. Maureen, thank you. The first hearing for the bill will be on February 6th.